Let's get back onto the front pages of the Daily Sir. Uh, parliamentarians eulogize uh, Dr. J.B. Dankwa. Statistical service sets June 28 for the national census. The Guardian Times. Fallout of banking crisis. Uh, Kwabena Dufo, ex Bank of Ghana uh, Director General and uh, Deputy Governor, I beg your pardon, and six others charged of a fraudulent breach of trust, money laundering, among others. Let's compile new voters register now, according to Mark. And after successful rollout of the free SHS government to prioritize tertiary education, President Akufuado says so. Kofi Amoa being five others slapped with 42 new charges. The business finder. Investors reaffirm confidence in Ghana's economy. Workers' plight improving, according to the TUC, but the ICU disagrees. Uh, get competitive to maximize the African Free Trade Agreement benefits. And also, uh, we're getting the daily guide. It says Dufour is Siama charged with 5.7 billion fraud. Investors chase Ghana's $3 billion uh, euro bond. Bagbing assures Nana and in a handshake with him uh, on the front page that you find it. Fresh charges for Amwabing. My guest this morning is Mr. Uh, uh, Honorable. Uh, Dr. Clementa Park is the member of parliament for the Bulsa South constituency. And Evander. And a second. And Evander. And Evander. <laughs> two Evanders <laughs> have met. They, they did talk and, to And, and Mr. George AEC, who's the National Communications <laughs> Director of the National Disaster <laughs> Management Organization. Dr. Solu. Solu, another one. Uh, Kubasa. Kubasa. Yes. Pussy Bulsa Namina. Yeah. You're Bulsa Mapusini. Mapusini. Very well. <laughs> George, it's always a pleasure. George, what's the <laughs> so people will say I'm being biased. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, but mine is a tradition. You know, TV3 and I. You know, at some point I was called, I mean, it's my nickname actually, MP TV3. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. So. I mean, Can yeah. I also say Pusina to my Sunday, my friend? Absolutely. My Pusini. My Pusini. Yeah. 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 He brought me. Pusina sounds like octopus. <laughs> yes, yes, <laughs> from Cape Coast, you know? You, they can say Solu. Solu. Solu now. Uh, uh, Isa good, good Amadou morning. Solu, uh, I'm grateful for uh, the fugu from yeah. Sunday Mass. Yeah. Yeah. things TV can do. Eh? You see you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's let's get in there. Yesterday, there's a video that came out, and and um, it's supposed to have been a leak video, and the conversation is that it involved the Minister for Environment, Science and Technology and Innovation. Uh, Professor Kobna from Paul Boiting. There's also Mr. Wusi there, who's we're told has been picked up by the police, uh, along with some five others, uh, making six for in the matter of the missing and found excavators. If all have been found or not, we don't know the official figures that have been communicated. We want to find out further. So we will get into that Galamse conversation. But first, maybe we'll do a bit of the report, but you know, if we if we do have the Galamse story. But George, yeah, this must have come to to hit the government um, beyond the, the commitment <coughs> and the investment and the readiness to say we are ending Galamse, this must have come as a very big blow. How is the government taking this? Yeah, thank you. <coughs> that was a good morning to you, the Honorable Clement Park, and our viewers. Uh, yes, I've also seen the video. Uh, I've heard the content therein, mm -hmm. and I saw uh, a few years minister mm -hmm. uh, who wasn't happy uh, with certain deeds and acts by mm -hmm. uh, the people who were before him. Let's put it on record that those two individuals who were in the video right. before the minister mm -hmm. are not Galamse people. They are not. They are members of Galamstop. Okay. That's a call we see talking. Right. And okay. then uh, uh, Ado, okay. who, the guy whose, whose face, face you show, see, right. yes, is, is Ado. Okay. Uh, Kweju Ado, mm. you know. So these are members of the Gallum stuff. Okay. You get it. And who had gone uh, to the minister, uh, apparently to engage in certain discussions mm. that the minister felt uh, there ought to have been a roadmap. Mm. Uh, a which, framework. Yes, a framework or roadmap, which roadmap or mm. framework is not being followed. Okay. okay, because he attacked them to do certain things. And so he thought their coming there where it was to update him mm. on how far they've gone with the roadmap. Okay. You know, and that was to streamline certain things that he thought uh, was not proper. And people were talking in the public domain. Mm. And so you realize he was asking them, 
get out of the office because right. what you are talking about is rather infuriating me. Mm. Okay, who is the MP you are talking about? I don't even know mm. him. Mm. You get it. So these are the, the premises within which uh, that conversation was engaged. But that was also mm. in the party here, Sika. Yes, so it, yes. The party needs money. Yeah, so and, and if you realize, good, if you realize, yes, if you realize the other people were leading mm. <laughs> the, the conversation they want to bring in, right. I want to believe somebody uh, who was doing, the person who was doing the recording knew what, you know, okay. they were doing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you get it. And so, uh, the minister didn't know anybody was recording. You but get it. So, Jessica was yes, there. no, no, he came in. And then he right. said, yes, and then he said, yeah, is that the same person who was leading, who was saying mm. party, yes, party, for whatever motive, mm. right? And then the, the minister said, yes, uh, but Wuntumi has a concession, mm. right? Wuntumi has a concession. So, what is that? And concession is legal. Right. You get it, right. you know. We see the Gallam stop objective uh, had gotten to a point where we put in the Gallam say boys together to undertake communal mining. Okay. okay, they are given a concession. About twenty of them are brought together. Mm -hmm. They are given a concession to mine on okay. in the proper manner, supervised okay. by forestry, and in some places even NADMO. You know, when the mining process, mm -hmm. we are supposed to be there. Okay. You know, when you go to Dunkwa and its environs, sometimes they do deep mining. Mm -hmm. The Galamse mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. and they leave the pits. And somebody decides to go to the bush to, you know, ease himself, mm -hmm. and then you fall in. Okay. It, we've seen certain cases like that right. before. Mm -hmm. And so they are to, you know, fill the place and reclaim the land. Mm -hmm. that's the, and that's within the remit of not so, so that was what I was talking about okay. in the, uh, we've seen a place at Takwa yeah. yes. and Ehoye, so we should go and work. Is that what we were talking about? Uh, possibly. Possibly. Mm -hmm. Which means it must be given to identified, you know, Galamseyes, mm. who we don't want to engage in Galamsey. Now, the other matter which is uh, of public record is about the excavators. Right. right? No, let, let's finish the video. So, yeah. in the video, yeah. uh, your party's general secretary, John Boyd, was yeah. mentioned uh, as having a hand in, in, in all of the conversation. No. Um, the mention is, me, the mention is, the mention is related to party Hieska. Right. Uh -huh. And John Boyd do We came to you but but about. is that the ministry to go for money when no I, I, don't, I don't understand you get so that is legitimate as how come we are discussing and then mm -hmm. he also went further to say uh chairman to me has a concession okay i don't know whether chairman to me's concession is meant to help in raising funds for the party i can't understand okay. that you get it and you so that, yes i don't know about that then that will be subject uh to further interrogation mm -hmm. that is what uh, i would want. but what is important is uh, mm -hmm. uh i'm happy yes the video came out i believe the mm -hmm. video came out because the minister had ordered the arrest of some individuals okay okay i believe that uh, if if you understand the processes there I believe those who had the video, who took the, that recording, uh, were using it as a buffer for them. Okay, they were you trying get to it. save themselves. Yes. So Was it in because case, they were being hanged? No, I believe maybe certain things. To be honest with you, I've not been too comfortable of late with the Gallam stop activities. Why not? I'm being honest. Why with not? You. I recently traveled through Kofori Kukuren to me. And then I saw the brain. I schooled in Abuakwa State right. College. I did my okay. sex from there, okay. right? Okay. And the brain was passing through virtually our campus, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so I know the brain. What it looks like. Yes. Okay. And when I saw, some time ago, I went to Eziyama mm -hmm. and I saw Ankubra. The nature, a second time, it was nice when the uh, Galamse, the anti, right. this thing was mm -hmm. going on. So nice. Then recently I saw brain again. I said, what is happening? Okay. Then I told myself, what? Uh, it's like there's a problem with the mm. fight, okay? Because, you know, the re water bodies have gone back to mm. where they were, which means mm. ordinarily you see that there's a challenge with the fight. The president is very committed to the fight, mm. but we tax some a people to do that execution mm. on behalf mm. of the government. They started very well. It was going on very well. Then somewhere along the line, something didn't go what, right. What do you say to those who, and this is my final intervention to you yeah. when talk will come in, yeah. to those who say that, look, this whole Galamse thing will go nowhere because, number one, the people who have been taxed to help stop it are the real perpetrators. And there's another school of thought that says that, look, this whole Galam stop is a diversion to get people thinking that there's actually something that's being done when, in fact, people are now being empowered to 
to dis denigrate the, the environment no. because party here is What no, do you say to no. that? No, let me be honest with you. Let me tell you something. When we're doing campaign, His Excellency now the President of the Republic of Ghana came to Cape Coast. Mm. And then in the middle of the night, mm -hmm. after his campaign, he had an engagement with the Friday Club. Is okay. the MPP mm. Dons of Academia okay. who okay. belong to the MPP? Okay. He met them in one of the lecturers, the professor's residence. Mm. And myself, I was there. You know, my wife okay. was a candidate, right. so we were there with him. Mm. And the president rolled out his vision on the environment. Okay. I bet you, I thought the president was a professor in an environmental studies, right? Mm. And his plans for the future of Ghana, water bodies, the forest, and the environment generally. Mm. Fantastic. And then he taxed Professor Usabu Asari mm. and co to get a paper, Professor Agbesinale, mm. to, you know, work on a proposal scale these framework are, are great for guys. them. Yes, these yeah. are great guys. Okay, and they did and presented the paper. So when the Galam, anti Galam said this, this, that, mm. and I knew where it was coming from. But between, between the plan yes. that you, you had and saw yes. and what is being done now, are we close? It started well, but I will agree with you mm. that somewhere the, the fight, you know, is going there. Are we losing it? We, we, we are not winning in the way it started. Okay. As of now. Thank and you. the argument that some individuals who are supposed to help fight it mm. are rather benefiting from it. Mm. I wouldn't say I, I, I disagree with that. I mm. wouldn't say that. Mm. That is how come, you know, the professor, the, the sector minister mm. is taxed as some individuals to be arrested. Mm. And I pray the investigation uh, goes through thoroughly so that we get uh, a very conclusive. If we really want to win the fight okay. against the Galamse in okay. this thing, we need to redirect our uh, thoughts on the fight. Okay. The current way now is not the best. Doc, yes. step in for me. George says well, we mm. are not winning it as, as we should, but we are still on course. And yeah. he's, he doesn't feel comfortable yeah. with uh, some of the activities yeah. so far. What do you say? Well, first of all, I think it is important that I say good morning to you and good morning to uh, George. Mm. Then I greet the people of Bulsa South and all mm. the Bulsa South, as I always do. Mm. As I indicated earlier, I just uh, came back right. uh, on Monday uh, after having the painful experience of uh, burying a very close friend mm. and an in-law, uh, the late uh, Joe Ajungbaru Sain. Mm. And I must say that uh, whilst there, I made a number of observations, and I think they would it would touch on uh, what uh, we, we are doing. But let me be quick to also appreciate the chief of Kanjaga okay. and the chief of Fumbisi. Uh, they joined me in cutting sword for the construction of a children's ward in mm. Fumbisi and a kindergarten in Kanjaga Nyanza. Mm. Galamse and the fight against Galamse, winning or losing, it is very clear. You tell me. That <laughs> the whole rhetoric, has been a hoax. Really? Oh, yes. With all the investments? It, it is. It is, it is party, that is why we have to hold people accountable. Vanguard. Now, let, let's, let's look at it from the perspective of the tip. He has admitted that the persons who were in the tip mm. were persons who are part of the mechanism mm. that was put in the place mm. to help fight the, the menace. Mm -hmm. Uh, Galam stop. We are aware that as part of the effort, the interministerial committee mm -hmm. was set up. We know Professor Frimpom Watin mm -hmm. is the chair of the interministerial committee. Now, when you have a video of this nature, mm -hmm. where persons who are supposed to work together to ensure that this menace mm -hmm. is addressed. I ended up having a dialogue about concessions and using the Galamse, or if you like, the small-scale mining sector as an avenue mm. to mobilize resources for the ruling party. Instantly, it becomes obvious. Concessions are not illegal. No, well, that in itself is problematic. Why is it? Because we have said all along mm. that this whole purported fight against illegal small-scale mining mm was just a smooth screen to get rid of others who have legitimate permits mm. and concessions mm. and make room 
for MPP party sympathizers and officers. You also had yes. some form of fight against this is, this is what is happening. Inusa Fuseni was in this there. This is what you is bought happening. Drones. How this different is, what is, is yours? Happening. How different is yours from what we the MPP is doing? Three hundred drones. What are, are those drones being used for? In fact, the drones were bought under this government. They bought the drones. Yes. What are they being used for? But are you not surprised, amazed, and flabbergasted about the dialogue? And look, Mr. Mr. AEC can try to downplay that component, party here, Sika. That is it. Party no here, Sika. So if the party needs money, and the party has decided this is a conduit for the party to mobilize resources, and the scheme has been put in place to let this happen, no. and it has been revealed, it states and clearly indicates mm. that our suspicion about this whole enterprise is justified. We have never truly believed that the president was willing to walk his talk when he made some of these pronouncements. How, and how, then, how do you say that? The president well, put together four, first of, first four ministries. Of all, yes, he has the done that. The president put together the military, he, he the has, police, yes. uh, immigration He has done service. all of that. He gave them weapons. He has he done all of that. Power. He has done all he of that. He says seize excavators. That is part of, that is all Criminalize part of the scheme. Criminalize it and, and get That people. is all part of the scheme as far as we are concerned. Which he, scheme? The, the scheme of pretending to be fighting it oh. whilst you are allowing your party apparatchiks <laughs> and party officers to profit from the very same destruction of our natural environment. We are not saying it. It's in the video. And from what we are hearing, this Ekowisi man has indicated that he has a lot more to reveal. We have read in some sections of the media where he has said that he's not going to go down alone. But he was asking leading questions. He won't go down in, alone. In that video. Yes. On the blind side yes. of the good, the good, good professor. professor. Yes. He was asking leading questions. Those were not leading questions, if you ask me. Uh, Why not? The, the professor did not reprimand him when he made the comment about Pat Yesika. <laughs> you go back and watch it. And I think for me, the whole video, oh. the most important component, if mm -hmm. you like the dialogue, mm -hmm. is that aspect. Ah. And you see, at some point, I will link this to the fight against illegal rules with mine. It's exactly the concept that was revealed by the, by the Environmental Intelligence Agency. Mm -hmm. And that is also the reason why that fight has not succeeded because there has been a process that purports to be working against the menace mm -hmm. and yet underground those who matter are still getting the permits under the disguise of salvage but just one more point you see when we say that we see this as a lot of talk uh, 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 you know a clearly designed deceitful enterprise mm -hmm. we say so because we have seen evidence what evidence? Of persons who work at the presidency, mm. captured on video, taking bribes. No. Yes. No. Who? Yes, Mr. Bisu. He did. No. We saw it on the video. We know that it's, it's, government it's had been, requested. It's been denied. Well, we are waiting to hear the outcome of the case because I know that the matter purportedly was uh, reported, mm. and uh, apparently the CID is doing work. They had asked Tiger Eye and Anas to provide uh, the, 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 the raw, raw footage. Raw footage. Yeah. And from what we know, Tiger Eye has done that. No. One would have thought that if indeed the president was sincere yeah, in fighting this menace, Mr. Charles Bissu should still not be serving as a presidential staffer. I mean, what type of image do you project? How do you expect <clears throat> people to take this fight seriously when they see that persons who are supposed to be the frontliners in the fight themselves are complicit in enhancing or undertaking the same activities that they are supposed to prevent. So, you, you know, you cannot have your cake and eat it. But on a more broader note, right. you see, he was talking about the president engaging some academics who had uh, sympathies to the, the ruling party and drawing up a fantastic program of action to do, do, do the have environment. A with that? <laughs> Before what has truly been there. done under President Akufuado yeah. to protect the environment? A lot. He has admitted that the fight against Galamse is failing, and it is obvious. We have information trickling in, mm. even from the current commissioner for forestry, mm. where, you know, sightings of illegal small-scale mining mm. have come up, and he has been on record indicating that those 
are matters beyond his capacity. You mean Sir John? Yes, because there are some big men who give these criminals the impetus to be able to undertake this. You know the, he, the minister for local government. If he couldn't mention them, them. He 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 couldn't mention them. Them. No, no, let me finish. I just want to make. Take I want to list a few, a few examples, yes, and then them. and then we will all respond. The yeah. minister for local government, right. Haji Alima, yeah. at an orientation and interaction with DCs, mm -hmm. is on record to have indicated that some of the DCs she knows were involved Possible. in this enterprise. What has she done about it? The, I'm still listening. So that we have the BCU issue that I mentioned. Mm. We have Sir John's comments. Mm. We have Hagia's comments. And now we That's have the an content. Honest government. We have the content of this uh, video. Mm. We also have confirmation from him, and I can confirm that the fight is failing. And I know it is failing. It's challenged. But, but, uh, it is not just challenge. failing, but it is even spreading. Hold it's hold so doc, it is spreading because Doc, you are an academic. Yes. Yes. If you don't appreciate the problem. You cannot solve it. Thank you. Look. So if government officials are appreciating the problem, yeah. so, it means that so, so, the solution so, is that so, 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 let people. me ask you a question. But I don't answer questions. <laughs> yes, but, but just for the Ghanaian public. Okay. Why has action not been taken against the DCs who are known mm. as per the Minister for Local Government mm. to be engaged in Galamse? Okay. Who appointed those DCs? Right? Why is Charles Bissu still a presidential staffer? Okay. Who appointed him? These are legitimate questions. No. Okay, uh, let, let George, George yes. answer these questions. So yes. he's put some questions up. Yes. And somebody, somebody uh, Suhini yesterday talked about Aisha Wan yes. uh, and spoke also about the fact that if the likes of Aisha Wan have been left off the hook to go, then we don't have any moral right to punish, for example, our own citizens who are engaged in it. And by the, by the words of Mr. Yalsa for that, prosecuting Aisha Wan, for example, will not improve our lot economically. The president will later come back yes, to make a statement admit, that, yes, well, yeah, it, uh, was it was unfortunate yes, that it uh, was done. Yes, yes. They, the public has been asking that, look, all these comments and all these individuals are still alive and well in the government. And that doesn't present a good picture Which for the government. Which like well, Nana Asaf Marvel? Yes. For the comment? For the comment, <laughs> Mr. Bissu, uh, no, for his role. Bissu. You know, he, sh Bissu. he should have been. Let's, let, Johnny, we watched the this thing. Charles Bissu took money. Mm -hmm. What was the purpose for the money? He's that's an, an under investigation. Somebody said Good. he should step so, aside. That's why I had a problem with the ANAS uh, procedure of the voiceovers. Okay? You have done underground work. Mm -hmm. Let us all listen to the engagements that led to the exchange of the money. For, for, for instance, the sports one. There's okay. a certain woman who was given 20 cities. Right. right? You believe that woman, you know, we go to places, people help us do something, you give them tips and you go. It's normal. Right, so that woman, you thought she was taking 20 CDs for, to do something for them? No. Okay. You get it. And yet you capture that and put this man on national uh, television, this woman. Y you know the damage? Okay, so allow, let's hear the conversation that ensued prior to giving that 20 is the, CDs. Is the call, it's important. Is the call to but ask Mr. Bissu step yes. aside legitimate? No, no, they have, they, they, they can call for that. But he stepped aside from where, you know, he was acting as the secretary mm -hmm. to the inter ministerial mm -hmm. committee, okay? He doesn't directly have to impede the investigation. His okay. presence there would have done that. Mm -hmm. But let's ask whether his presence or the presidency is impeding investigation. Yeah, in the obviously, the, there's oh, evidence oh, oh, to that effect. If there's evidence to that effect, let's put it out so, and then... So, uh, so George, it, we know the, the president, president has a capacity. In a video, no, in a video, no, the president is not impeding in any way. In a video, no, no. George, in a video, in a video we watched yesterday, the good old professor from Paul Barton said that that this Mr. Wusi, who is a former yes. vice chairman of the Central Region yes. or something. A very good friend of mine. Right. Was yeah. introduced to him by yes. Mr. Bissou. Yes. So somebody that says he has, he, would, has he, would have, he would have a certain influence there. He, no, he's no. not there, but his eyes and hands are there, don't you think? No. He, a Wusi came in because they needed a place to keep the excavators. That's okay. not the law. Warehouse. That's not the law. The law says no, keep no, them at the coming. police station. No, they said that when they style. were challenged with that, you get it. They needed places like the aviation point mm. where we have over 127 Obuasi. We have some there, and then Takwa. We we 
gotten about 55 of them. So it's not true. And we don't how have... How many go five. missing? How yeah, many we don't them? have... How many of them go missing? We, we believe about 315 for the records, on okay. the records. Okay. And then for that 315, let me explain something. Mm -hmm. uh, when that Operation Gallant stop people, you know, a lot of them are soldiers and they use military tactics right, and right. routine. Now, what they do is when they impound any excavator, 24 hours, that's close of day, right. they must report to base. Okay. And they must report that, yes, we got A, B, C excavators, the exact number, you know, military. Right. Then that is recorded. But what they do is sometimes they get it in the night and they said there's something in the excavator that you can pull out okay. and it cannot function. Okay. You get it. Okay. And so they do, they take that out and go home. In the night, mm. hoping to uh, in the next morning they will bring a low bed okay. to come and come carry it. To right. by the time they come, the the owners have a spare uh, <laughs> that, that equipment to come. Then they go and pick their machines. You don't see it. They thought once you take out that head or whatever, mm. there's a technical term for it. You know the machine cannot mm. function, mm. so you come back, fix it, and then take it to where you want to take it. You get. It. So we have some of these challenges and all these, but because the Garam stop people have reported to base, mm. they count it as one of those that have been seized. Okay, so the number. Official is 315, and we know aviation has about uh, 127. Okay, okay. Oboase and Takwa over 55, mm. and then we are still going on to get it. And we know uh, some do have been taken away by their owners, and so they are not even following up because of the processes. Now, let me explain something. Mm. Uh, Party here, Sika, mm. what was the response of the professor on that? Okay, mm. that is very important. Party here, Sika, let me say, but one to me has a concession. So when I go and bring that plant, this thing, and what you are saying is even infuriating me because I don't understand what you're talking about. The MP you are referring to, I don't even know him. You get it. So go and bring all the this thing and what we've agreed on. Then, you, if you go beyond what they've agreed, what was it that they agreed on? Is it a legitimate means to help the party get money or is not a legitimate means? I believe the commitment of His Excellency, the President, mm. in fighting this uh, Galamse matter is not in that. I, I thought that, Chema, that Chema people... me has been on record to say that he doesn't have any concession. <laughs> hmm. No, you know, when the Galamse, the, the fight because started... Because he was on record. Yes, no, no, no. He doesn't the, have a concession. Yes, what, no. But after... The, uh, he said this when the anti-Galamse fight started. No, I heard him. But he said exactly it, that he doesn't have a concession. Yes, he concession. yes at that time... No, so, no, listen. Let me explain something. Right. At that time, okay. the fight... So we stopped everybody. I tell you, when I was contesting for the Central Regional Secretary position, I went to Dunkwa. You know, it's a mining area. <laughs> Our officers, those who were involved in mining business and coal, said, look, George, you people, when you come, make sure you uh, coordinate with the national officers to get, you know, these things streamlined. Okay. okay? And now we've, after we've fought the Galamse to a mm. point, and then we've streamlined it. Now, do you know we allow small-scale miners to do their work? Mm. They've started. That's where the communal mining concept is also come in. Okay. And so no, now, no. if they, they, to me they, has no. a concession, they, they, it's because it's not legal, no, legitimized. Okay. No. And he's no, no, let me ask you. No, I'm coming. Look, see, the, so Ghana water, the Ghana Water Company in the Western yeah, Region yes, is now yes, rationing yes, water. Yes, and they are complaining yes, that the Galaxy is having I, an effect yeah, on no, them. No. Which it's means true. that people are going to be drinking heavy metals and blah, blah, blah. That's so those of us in the crowd would think that, oh, we are safe, we are no. fine. Then we don't have to give up here. on the fight. Mm -hmm. I listened to Ken Ashikbe. He's one person I respect uh, so much. Uh, he said he's, he, he also almost lost hope along the line. You know, he was a champion from Absolutely, the beginning. Yeah. And then along the line, he virtually lost hope. Now, after certain actions by, you know, government, and I believe the whole Gallam stop, this thing must be restructured. Should the minister he's go? There. For the minister, I don't think so. But a lot of members within must must go. There are four. Go. There are four ministries. Uh, I'm, I'm, yes. Four ministries. Yes, working. interministerial. Yes. And it does appear that there's only Professor Frimpong Boati in that. No, he is the one. lead. He is the he is the uh, chairman of the interministerial committee. Okay. So it's understandable. But do you think that but some some members yes, of the yes, government yes, must man. go? Yes, yes, yes. The whole this thing must be overhauled. Okay. I'm telling mm. because yeah. the way it is as of now. Mm. I bet you it's not encouraged. Doc, no. where, where do we go from here? Well, he says we should overhaul it and, and start all over again. I have said all along that what this, do you whole, say? this whole fight has been a charade. It's it not a been, charade. It's a hoax. <laughs> it is clear no. that part of it was designed to ensure that concessions were given mm. to exactly the same types of people that you are talking about. And your yeah. question is legitimate. Mm. This is somebody, wound to me, who was on record to have said that he didn't have a concession. Mm. Certainly, as of the time, uh, MPP takes over the reins of this country. No, no, no. They, they begin a war against Galamse. Mm. 
the likes of uh, Win to me are now capable of having oh he had what do you call it government mm. concessions mm. well and good yes how many more that's his business have had concessions who he that didn't have concessions and don't take my word for it talk to the association of small scale miners mm. they are very livid and they have said all along I'm that TV, what was going on was sidelining them and their members mm. who hitherto had legitimate concessions in favor of party people and no. politics. No, yes. party people are complaining. Yes. I'm telling you. Well, okay. when I went that to is what we are saying. Okay. Okay. Right on, 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 on a bigger note, yes, last the me. issue of protecting the environment mm. has not received the seriousness that the president wants the world to believe. And I say so because the Galamse fight has not only failed, but the menace it has failed. spread. I just came back from the Upper East Region, mm. and I always pay attention to the rivers. Yeah. If you see yeah. the water bodies, compared to even last year, as we speak now, yeah. you will be amazed. Just between Tamale and Bolga, when you are passing, pay attention yeah. to the Very quality of the water, the, Look, color, the coloration the here. Mm. I took it of the water. Myself. It's, now, it's, if the fight is, so is succeeding, Shouldn't it be the opposite? No, no, George, no, look, George, George is proposing that yeah. we should overhaul, the, overhaul the whole thing and start all over again. Do you do you support it, that? that it, it has failed. So it's not failed. We, 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 should we give up? We need we need we a much more up? realistic national consensus. Okay. Yes, I and I think perhaps we should look at placing this fight mm. away from government or politics. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, obviously we are seeing that it's part of Parachik's uh, party in Jessica. Oh, no, okay. no. I, I mean, hey, that is well, what you know, but the is we are no. referring to. But no, no, please, no, let's try and play the video one more time. I wanted to make a point. I had something like the military is withdrawing their men. I wanted, I wanted to make a point, a quick one, on the environment. As we speak now, on the same environment, the matter of Rosewood, you know, the ministry set up a committee in the wake of the expose by the Environmental Investigation Agency. The committee sat past its own designated time that it gave itself. Mm -hmm. The report was presented to the Minister for Lands and Natural Resources yeah. as much yeah, on that. December 30th. Okay. I declined to be part of it, but I monitor <laughs> till today. <laughs> why Why will you decline? Till today. I didn't want to be part of a cover up okay. because it was obvious what was going to happen. So, till today, what till today. It's you're not, not being a good I'm citizen. A, I'm a skeptic because I don't believe that ah. they will do an honest job. But it is not for my interest. You should be Taxpayers' there. monies were expended to buy tea, coffee, mm -hmm. allowances, and take the committee members around the country. Taxpayers' money was used to print and, you know, edit and package the report. The minister and government, all the good people of this country, mm. the responsibility of making that report public okay you didn't serve ghana well by declining says, because well, you should we have to been there to push them to do the right john us with your thoughts and comments zero two zero two one six 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 three three as a and share your thoughts <laughs> about what's happening the, the views around this table is that we need to overhaul and start yeah. all over again yeah. and to be more committed to it yeah. but uh, for that but, but Bernard, please do we have the video for those who have not seen it and and for for record's sake if we if we get it we'll we'll toss it in Immediately. Okay, so we will we'll try and play it back for you one more time. So those who have not had the benefit to see it, will get to see it. But the banking crisis taking a different turn. New charges have been preferred against Dr. Uh, Johnson Esiama and Dr. Kwabna Dufour, as well as uh, Prince Kofi Amoabeng. The, the bigger picture I want us to look at beyond the politicization of it, because now the matters are going before the yeah. court, so we can't be discussing the merits of the matter. But the bigger picture is that your government, George, for example, promised that by the close of 2019, we're going to make sure that everybody who is complicit in this will be prosecuted. Yeah. The call out there is that we seem to be cherry picking on the people who are being held before the courts. Uh, and we are leaving, if you will, the board members whom, to whom these CEOs worked. We're leaving all of them. Um, Bank of Ghana, for example, had just one former deputy governor who has been uh, put up there, but as a head of banking supervision, there are other people who had a day-to-day -day interaction with the banks. Are you being fair in, or are you being selective in no. trying to uh, bring us help in this matter? 
Yeah, thank you. Before I touch on that, the truth of the matter, you know, Moody's rated Ghana B plus, B right. positive right. recently. Mm -hmm. uh, Bank of Ghana has been rated among the best in Africa, right? right? Uh, and then we, we're Especially getting the best, the yes, the, the best. best in Africa. Uh, and you know, uh, our economy is getting fluid. Mm -hmm. And and these things were premised on the reforms within the banking mm -hmm. sector is, is a key uh, uh, contributor or right. parameter mm -hmm. uh, to this determination. And so what it tells me is that, yes, uh, we are doing something right. Mm -hmm. The way we tackled the banking re sector reforms was good, uh, even though there were some challenges individuals fell prey. Mm -hmm. You know, matters of investigation, you need to get all your facts together. Right. Your docket must be very solid mm -hmm. before you proceed to court. You mm -hmm. get it. Mm -hmm. And so, uh, and you know, we have smart, brilliant guys like uh, Godfrey Yabu Adami and co who are ready uh, to go do the prosecution. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the attorney general herself and the team. You know, so, Johnny, we cannot rush and then take people to court because, because court, when you go to court, you must give basis you get it if it's a criminal prosecution uh, beyond reasonable doubt right, right you must be able to adduce evidence mm -hmm. to support same mm -hmm. otherwise the judge will throw you away and so that is we are being careful and meticulous in our preparation before we go to court okay. and so as and when we finish with any docket then we proceed to court. Okay? okay and 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 they say there's no status bar to uh criminal prosecutions mm -hmm. and court. what it means is that there's no uh, limitation and time that within two years you cannot prosecute anybody involved in mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. And I, I agree that the leaders who are in charge of the day-to-day -day, uh, management of the banks, mm -hmm. if they are the first people to be sent, good. Then the board members will follow you. And definitely, Johnny, once mm -hmm. you take uh, uh, my army officer, Captain Amwabe, right. to the place, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. any board, when the, project, the moment it starts, witnesses call, some may be called from the board. Right. You get it. And so then it brings in these individuals, mm -hmm. okay, who will be then tied to the apron string of the, uh, that individual as far as the prosecution mm -hmm. is concerned. Mm -hmm. And so this key individual, Captain uh, uh, Johnson, mm -hmm. who is uh, former deputy the governor, governor right. and then, of course, uh, Dr. Dr. Dufour Dr. himself. Mm -hmm. To be honest, I am not comfortable because I've, why, looked, why up you to, not comfortable? I've looked up to these people growing up as, mm -hmm. you know, captains of the industry. Mm -hmm. You get it. If you want to get business moving, these are the shakers and movers of the system. Right. But something didn't go right, mm -hmm. okay? And, and why did it happen that way? So the prosecution will, not, will unearth why these things. And the young people who aspire to be business people and giants will then learn from those things. Right. So we, cannot, we will not repeat these things going forward. So I think uh, it's a good thing that it started. Mm -hmm. We are not cherry picking. Uh, we are not picking and choosing. We will get to every individual person who is culpable or liable in this whole scheme. Okay. Some people have called it executive robbery. Mm -hmm. You get it. Mm -hmm. The people set up, ensued, set up a bank and they use it as a conduit to take people's money and they use it for what the way they like it. You get it. Okay. The so, banking supervision mm -hmm. unit uh, failed us. <laughs> you get it. And then, so they must also go and answer why they failed us. George, George the, the other side of the conversation is that yeah. the CBG, for example, yes. uh, was Good. supposed to have salvaged the monies of depositors who could have otherwise lost their, yeah. their monies, yeah. according to government. Yeah. Now, their complaints on the street is that if you have a certain threshold of money, yeah. you are not getting it. Yeah. So the answer is this, that the concern is this, that I'm an importer. Yeah. Government has reduced the benchmark values at the ports. Yeah. So I should be happy and be importing more. Yeah. But my money is locked up yeah, with the receiver true. and I'm not getting it. So essentially you're collapsing my business and you are making me lose my employees and all of that. When will their monies be released to them? That's the question they're asking. Good, it will be released. I think they are on course. You know what? Their books were so toxic. Mm. So toxic. You get it. <laughs> you know that you have 10 CDs in the bank. But in reality, there's no, not a dime there. You get it. And a lot of non-performing loans and all those things. So you need to factor all these. And then government properly sends kind of money to help them mm -hmm. make the banks fluid. Then they can go. You know, this year, the, mm -hmm. I, I, I read a, a piece by the by the boss of uh, CBG, mm -hmm. uh, Consolidated Bank Ghana. Right. He said they are out of the woods. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. So they are now getting... To their footing and then take off 
okay, in the positive realm. That's a good thing. But I agree. When are they going to get depositors going to get? What we did was to protect their deposits. Mm -hmm. Now, how, when can they assess the deposits? Absolutely. That's what, you know, you remember recently a certain uh, 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 letter signed by the executive secretary to the president mm -hmm. came out requesting, yes, uh, some money to be, mm -hmm. it's meant to, you know, uh, make the banks fluid so they can pay off, you know, the individual depositors, get them have access to their funds. So, yes, importers and co, we understand and appreciate your challenge, mm -hmm. but we are taking all the steps. This year uh, is guaranteed that they'll be able to assess uh, their liquids. Okay, Doc, step in for me now. George says well, the money will come. Uh, the, the concern on the street is that, look, you have saved us our money, so we are happy. <laughs> uh, even though people have lost their jobs yeah. and ha are beginning to, to feel the, the pinch, but they say the small one that is in there, give it to us if you have really saved us. They will get it. George says they yeah, will get I think it. You, uh, what, what, is, what is going on is unacceptable. It is unfortunate. Uh, we, well, we all understand that uh, there was a situation and uh, action had to be taken to some extent. Mm. Uh, our position is that the way it was done, mm. it would have been done better. Okay. Uh, we, for example, believe that the colossal amounts of money mm. that you know, was expended to collapse banks, mm -hmm. could have been used to rather sustain them and no. enhance them no. in terms of their ability to deliver. Even when they, had, the, they had falsified documents? It's not all of them. I, I mean, lies. we know it is not all of them. Almost it all. is not all of them that, you know, <laughs> can be put into that category. Right. I mean, we know that some cases are still in court. Some but were giving money to, to yeah, revamp their be, business. Be, 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 on no, diamond be, business. Be as it may. Be as it may. <laughs> uh, the issues have gone to court. Right. The state will state its case. They would also have the opportunity yeah. to defend themselves. Yeah. But the reason why I say it could have been done in a different way is also mm -hmm. because of what you pointed out. The small people, the individuals who have not committed any crime, mm -hmm. who have not connived with anyone, who merely did what you expect good citizens to do, mm. to go yeah. and put their resources, meager yeah. as they may be, mm. at a bank. They should not suffer because of this. Because yeah. as far as I know as a member of parliament, right. the amount of money that has gone into this exercise mm. should, has, should have also been sufficient enough to take care of those whose monies are locked. Okay. And on that score, it's I not think that the simple, people, the pe so, so the banks the shouldn't people, have gone down. The saying. people have every reason to be unhappy yeah. with the way yeah. this matter has been handled. In as far as their personal savings, this year they will smile. They will get their money. They will get George access says to their money. says this year they will smile. Yeah. You, do, you, you don't believe Well, that. we hear this year is a year of roads, but I can tell you, I yeah, just came from Upper East. I have not seen the road between uh, 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 Fumbisi and Kanjaga being worked take on the way time. we expect take, take oh, work, I mean, for the past three years, the it is only just at no, the end year, of actually. last year that there was resurfacing, yeah. only once. Yeah. So we, we, on okay, that's about this year. I'm sure that we're, we're ready in the video because I'm, I'm getting a lot of text messages. Some say they haven't seen that at all. They want to see the movie. Yeah, well, it's, yes. it's not a movie, Kung Fu Fighters. That's what I'm Dr. Park. Etana, welcome. Right, yes, what are they saying on, on WhatsApp? Yes, on WhatsApp. Uh, good morning, TV3. Please, I want to ask Napo whether he was uh, he was taught by a master's holder when he was in the basic school. GM used to post both public and private institutions, but this MPP came and abandoned the private uh, colleges. From GM, we, the graduates, say we are sorry. MPP never again. Rafiki Are you sure? I don't pity <laughs> Dufour. He became angry when he was replaced with Tekpe and supported the MPP. He should dance songs of the day. Oh, Gideon. Sure. Good morning, Johnny. The MPP Bobby man Sabah claims Bobby. that some of the machines were taken away by their owners after the authorities had taken away the parts of the machines necessary for their running because they have spare yeah. of the parts. Are the machines not registered such that they could be traced? Good Amadou question. Kune from Wa. Ghanaians saw the video and we can decide for ourselves what was said and how it was said. We are not zombies for the MPP to interpret it for use. Farouk, English, Amanfro. 
Good morning, Johnny Hughes. The most difficult job today is being an MPP panelist and communicator. <laughs> oh. MPP communicators will defend and equalize every nonsense oh, yeah. in favor of the MPP. By the way, the comments by the president telling the people of Bole Bamboy that they are not, he at Chim is better than the Bole Bamboy brother, JDM, is quite an unfortunate comment from a statesman, Frederick Elom Abochi in San City, Tema West. Is the ruling uh, about payment of bribe to a government official or the excess payment of commission by Airbus to an agent? Maligu Na Wumbai from Aplau. Good morning, TV3. The MPP and the EC thinks they can take us for granted. We will resist and reject this bogus idea of new votes registration. Ismaila Horoya Ali, Greater Accra Regional Zongo Caucus. Coordinate. <laughs> this one is from Charles Nyame from Asamankese. In Ekufuado's first year, he pretended to be fighting Galamse. In his last year, Galamse is fighting him to death. Oh. Never again <laughs> to this highly corrupt MPP government. Mama G is saying we all know that NDC is a violent party. So no wonder they won't uh, sign the vigilantism code of conduct. Let's all wait and see who will suffer at the end of the day. Rest my case. Four more for Nana to do more. How uh, are Tuaso Mama G from Kaswa? Okay. That's all we have thank by you. way of uh, uh, um, messages. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Babina, do you have the video yet? Okay, you don't have the video. George, they, they, somebody put a question out there on, on uh, social media. It says that um, the the vehicles are registered. I mean, chassis number and all of that. Yeah, so yeah, they should yeah. be traceable if yeah. you arrest them and they take the spare parts out. Yeah. No, you know, you have the number. I told you they, there's a, some, something that they take out, believing you cannot move the machine and they come and pick it. Yes, you need to put in a lot of effort to tra track it and get it. Okay. You know, but, that's but, how but, those but, people but, don't even quite, come quite back quite honestly, for the other yeah, thing. Quite that's, honestly, that's part of the, the reason. The, the law why the number that is high. those impounded yes. diggers yes. should have been yeah. under the auspices and protection of law enforcement. Right. Yeah. That is it. So the, the decision not to take them there in itself must be questioned. No, it's in oh, the yes. night. No, it must be questioned. No, if you understand these how that I'm saying, right? In 20, 20, yes. 20, 24 hours. These are yes. not pen drives that you can just no, put no, no, it in no. your pocket and In the night, away. you've seized it. You've and then, got so him there. Even, you even, take even, the even, sensitive even, aspect. Even, and then even, they have a spare. Come even, and fix it even, and take it. Okay. They were not Why you come and take it the next morning to the police station. Or the police station. Or the police station. Or the police station. Or the police so 350, so we can account for over okay, 350 thank you. as Dr. we speak. Dr. Clement <laughs> Apak is the Honorable Member of Parliament for the Bolsa South Constituency. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in the race one more time, hopefully, to win it. Uh, again, and yeah, represent yeah, his yeah, people yeah. Uh, out there in Bolsa South. And also, George E.C. is the National Communications Director of the uh, National Disaster Management Organization, and said of the NPP. Gentlemen, welcome. Thank you very much for your time. I wish you all the best, George. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>